Okay, we're back with the second part of this jewelry, Goodwill jewelry box unboxing. <clears throat> and I'm just going to record this the same day, but put out two different videos since I'm here in my light box. I am zoomed out for this second video and we'll see how it goes. I had a little bit of a difficult time having um, the camera zoom in on the close-ups and yeah, we'll see how this one goes. <coughs> But yeah, hello, my name is Rachel and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I sell things like jewelry, accessories, mostly shoes, and I love to sell belts. And I am a full-time stay-at-home mom with my girls and a boy on the way. And we are getting our house listed, um, I would say probably next week and hopefully find a house shortly after that so that we are not homeless. Um, yeah, so that is that. Here are some little extra pieces. So I am wearing this big giant bangle that we found yesterday. Here we go. Um, I do like bigger pieces because A, I just do. <laughs> I think my style and it might just be my style because I have long um, fingers and arms and legs and everything like that. All right, so these pieces, I ended up looking up um, off camera and that maybe I can do like a scroll along the side, but this one was Sterling B.A.B., which actually is a brand and they are sterling. So the BAB stands for um, Bayou Company, B-A-L-L-O-U. And I still do not know what this symbol is, but a lot of the things by this company was described as modernist. They have things like tree brooches and deer and things like that. So this to me is a pretty good find. And then here's my little basket of things I'm going to be selling. This, which was marked JC on it. Um, this, there, as far as I could see, I just put in JC on eBay and all it was was marked JC. Like there was no like Jenneth Cole <laughs> or anything like that. Um, but these seemed to be doing well on eBay, the vintage style. So this I will for sure be selling this ring. And wow, I'm lucky because I've been finding quite a bit of rings in here. This, the one that we left off on this little acorn that I was really excited about by Original Robert. If you look up his brooches, he has some cute brooches. It totally reminds me of Snow White 50s nostalgia, um, like my grandpa's house with all wood paneling everywhere and just that kitschy feeling. And he has things like berries and cherries and woodland type themed brooches. So this one was... I'm for sure going to be selling and I didn't see any acorns so I might sell it high. That is totally my style. I don't mind having a big store and listing it where I want to list it because like I said in another video, I don't want to contribute to people's race to the bottom on eBay. I would prefer to list it high and sell it high so that when people look up comps, they sell theirs high and we keep things that are quality being sold as quality on eBay instead of trying to beat out the next seller and then something like this will just be worth a dollar after all is said and done. So I hope that makes sense, but that is definitely my model, my, my model and my motto. <laughs> um, yeah, this one I was looking up and I was mistaken. My last video I said Lois Lane. And this one definitely has to be cleaned up, but it is actually Lois Jean. And when you Google it, I'm sorry, not Google it, put it in on eBay, 
the um, eBay automatically changed my letters to G um, Jean Louis. And when I started scrolling, it was like $144. So, and I realized that's not what I have, but um, that just goes to show that Jean Louis is definitely a brand to look out for that seemed to be doing really well. Now this took a little bit to find the NI knee and apparently this is just an Asian brand. Let me see if I can say this. Um, Ju Long Zing, something like that. And it's just NI and um, this brand sells enameled bracelets and they're really pretty but I didn't find any peace sign ones. So I will be listing this too. All right, so that is that for the things I looked up. Um, I still have this much jewelry, but um, it looks to be a lot of earrings and beads and things like that. So yeah, let's get started. I already pulled out the necklaces and things like that and untangled them, so I'm not sitting here untangling and breaking things on camera. So this was the first one. Um, this was a necklace, double stranded. Um, I guess like Aurora Borealis, faceted, sparkly, um, multi tone blue necklace. And this is really pretty, and I definitely think I'm going to be selling this one. It's just really pretty to me. Okay, next. I was really confused because so at first I thought it was a necklace and it actually is one of those really thin dainty one that I cannot wear um, bracelets and it's a rose gold color with this sweet little heart on it and I haven't ever sold anything like this I usually tend to go for the more statement bracelets that are very unique but I, I will possibly look this up I tried to see if it was being magnetic and there's no makers marks or anything the chains themselves are two different styles um so this is a maybe again a maybe but it's really sweet really cute my friend Christine she's like 100 pounds and can pull off all these really sweet cute dainty um, pieces. So maybe I'll give it to her at church or something if, if anything, but so sweet rose gold. So in That's, my ring is part rose gold right there. Um, yeah, love it. There's that. And then, um, this I just pulled out. It just looks like a simple chain. Um, yeah, it looks to be all there. Ooh, when I see this shape right here, I know that it's going to say something. And so this says Italy 9 S925. So that is a good sign. That is a very good sign. Okay, well, let's see. Let's do it. Okay, that's not, and it doesn't look to be magnetic. <gasps> so that is a good, a good piece right there. And that might go really well if I find a sterling pendant to put on this sterling chain. So yeah, that is, that is awesome. Excellent. Woohoo. <sighs> that is good. Okay. Yay. All right, let's get into this, shall we? Okay, this is, it does feel kind of cold, so these might be stone, I don't know, maybe. Um, it looks like an Egyptian eye, if it's a symbol for something, I don't know. Um, it has something right here, what 
does it say? <sighs> Chavez for charity. Chavez for charity. Okay, so I will look that up. Interesting. Okay, this is a big gaudy hoop black with stones on it. Ooh, I already recognize this, if anybody else does. This is a Sarah Coventry letter brooch. This one is a, a, is it an R or is it a J? Probably is a J. Yeah, Sarah Coventry. My husband's name is James, so maybe he can wear a brooch on his blazers to work. I'm just kidding. Um, this one I will be selling. <clears throat> another brooch. Here's another brooch does not seem to have anything on it. It's missing two stones and um, it doesn't appear to be vintage, but like it has like an atomic look to it. So that's going in a craft lot. Ooh, these are genuine pearl and look at these colors. Look at these colors. Look at this green one right here. Is that, is that really green? And this one's brown. Huh. It's a stretch bracelet and the stretch is still there. Yeah. But I mean, it does have like, it's not as stretchy as it should be just because the beads are moving. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I mean, but hmm, interesting. That is really pretty. I like these. Um, I, I could, I have like when uh, a bracelet has broke and it has these genuine pearls on them that are interesting. I have sold them for craft just as a um, single listing with and then I would be like approximately this many pearls on it. Maybe someone would want this but yeah look at how pretty and the luster on these. So pretty. Okay I like that one. This looks to have been like a concho craft lot <laughs> uh, 57 ball okay um this is another single earring tiger put that over here i still want to find this one and the little tv bead um is there anything in here little earring this one feels a little grody um, another earring with fair degree on it. I'm just going to put all the single earrings over here. Little flower earring. Little, what is this? Yeah, it probably goes like that. Um, gold hoop. Usually if you find a, um, an earring like this, that is a hoop, it will actually say... Italy 925 or something like that and we were out on a walk last year or the year before and I found an earring on the ground and I found and it was like maybe like this big and it was a hoop and it said um, 925 Italy on it and my and I just gave it to my stepdaughter as we were walking because I was like oh it's from Italy and and she's half Italian 50% Italian so I was like, this is from Italy. And so she wore it like a bangle and she probably lost it by now, but that was fun. Um, yeah, we'll just put it off to the side. Uh, here's some findings. This is a cute little enamel finding. Earring. Um, these are one of those things that you screw into your hair. I actually used to do this and pull out my hair and stick them in my buns and all that stuff. So yeah, um, this is another earring. It's just a diamond stud looking earring. What is this? A little ring. Wow, there's a lot of rings in this box. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be wearing a little bit. Sweet little ring. Let's see. Whatever, 
whatever. We'll, we'll look that up. <sighs> a little stone pendant. That's a really pretty color, though. I think that these are vintage, if I'm not mistaken. I find these quite often, where it's just a single stone with this little finding on the top so that it can be, I don't know, a charm or a pendant or an earring or something like that. This is another earring. And another one. This one's kind of cute. <laughs> and another earring. Oh, this one says something. See, like I said, it says evoke on it. So it doesn't say anything on here, but on the backing it says Evoke. So now we know the brand to that one. And these, I have sold these before when they have had the turquoise beads on it, and this one doesn't, but it's still a really cute style. It's a little bent. Um, it looks to be sterling, like tarnished, like sterling. Yeah, see, it's like we're rubbing off a little bit, but a lot of times these, oh, it's missing a little doodad on the bottom right there. So I'll put that in the craft lot. And here is a screw back. I think this is very pretty. Screw back almost looks like a little tree. And no maker's mark that I can see. pretty. Put it right there. Okay, little wooden snowman pin. Um, yeah, craft lot. And the 21 ball. Someone's bracelet might have snapped. Here is a hoop earring. It's like a bunch of wires just put together and it has plenty of tarnish on it and we are just going to move these to the side and pull out another handful. Here is a, hmm, is it a pendant? Something? I don't even know. So craft lot. This feels like rubber and cheap craft lot. This is a stretch um, ring, pretty big, very big, um, but it's missing some rhinestones in it. And yeah, put that in the craft lot. These are real wood or real stones. Is this agate? Agate and. <sighs> craft lot. This was another earring and it's cute but it's missing a stone up top craft. This was part of a stretch bracelet craft earring. That reminds me of a robot. It feels to be <clears throat> plastic. I'll just put it right there just because and a heart that's missing plenty of rhinestones and a cross bracelet that I'm putting in a craft lot and um, earring missing some stuff and this one's cool this one I like look at these hmm look at how pretty this is oh so, yeah, a little bow and blue, I think they're faux stone. They might be real stone. Um, beads and possibly sterling. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is magnetic. This might not be the, the strongest magnet in the world. Um but it's possibly looks like it could be and it is very pretty and 
I'm hoping that one's in there too. Like, what do people do with all these Goodwill boxes that have only singles? Okay. Um, a USA Angel brooch. I'm sorry, pin. And that will go into a craft lot. Pins I can do quite well with sometimes. Oh, look at this. Is this a jelly bean? Is this what I'm seeing? Um, I, I thought that jelly beans are typically like an animal. It looks like the clasp is um, broken. But look at how pretty this is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm just going to put it with the other one. Like, look at how pretty. Look at these. These are so pretty. They make me so happy. I'm just going to put it with that one and think about what I'm going to do with it because it's very beautiful. And what is this? Huh. What am I looking at here? This is, this looks like a top of a snap. And a blinged out snap. What? People probably know what this is and I just don't, but that's interesting. I will put that over there. And um, earring, button earring, and um, oh, yep, silver, 925. What does it say on there? Nine two five BBS, but yeah, that one that one is silver. I can just tell. Um, a little I don't know faux faux pearl earring, and looks like it has ear goo and stuff in it. So. There we go. Oh, do we have a match? No, we don't. Oh, I thought I found my first match that was not hooked together or on a card. And it's not. So we got close. We got close there. All right, we'll put... Oh, flip-flop. Okay, we will put... So sometimes I can just take a magnet and see if... Some of those are sterling and then look into them a little bit further, but um, yeah, we'll just do that later. Okay. So, um, let's see. This is a bangle that's going into a craft, just beads, craft, and what is this? Ooh. -hoo. Doesn't this look like Brighton? This looks like a big, chunky Brighton Whoa, ring. And there is no markings on it, but this I will sell. Wow, look at that. This, this can really appeal to um, people that really like Brighton, that Brighton style. And it's really, um, weighty and yeah, that's pretty. I don't know. Sometimes it, it, uh, sometimes designers don't have their brands on it and you just Google lens search it and it can pop up. Okay. This is a dress clip. I will sell this for sure. I like selling dress clips, not to say that they're worth a lot of money, but um, I, I I just like them. So, yeah, they do sell. Or scarf clip. Clip your scarf together. So, yeah, it's like a cross with some scroll work, almost like hearts and little stars. Cute. Oh, oh my goodness, look what I found. I found a match to this one. <gasps> we have a match, you guys. And it's a cute one, too. I mean, it's a tiny bit worn on these, like, margasite-looking 
things trying to margasite wannabes um yeah the, this didn't have a maker's mark but woohoo i found something and put that in our little basket okay wow we have one okay here is a ring and it's all scratched up so that will go into a lot <clears throat> here is a brooch and as i'm holding it some of the um what is this my brain is going blank right now don't mind me i'm pregnant um there is well it looks like just one of those dots and sometimes that can mean avon like with a circle with a little dot in it um and it does look like it's worn but i mean it's still cute and yeah no this is worn too this little thing so this is going into a craft craft lot little bobble earring put that right there orange i do like selling orange my youngest daughter's favorite color is orange this is a clip-on bobble earring and it does feel weighty it is missing some stones though but it is very pretty so we will put that in craft and see if we can find anything interesting in here and these are tangled we'll try that in a little bit what is this huh, clip on This feels like paint and rhinestones, a moon clip on. Yeah, see this one again just has a dot as a maker's mark. Let's see if you guys can see. See that little dot? Hmm. I mean, they're cute, so we will put that to the side. Here is a clip on earring, Sarah Coventry. It is missing a little pearl. Oh, a moon ring. Hmm. Is this like a midi ring? Oh, is it a horseshoe? <laughs> um, my skin is really dry here because my skin can be sensitive to um, rings that are not fine metals. And so that's what happened here. So I was wearing a ring and I started getting a reaction. One that I got from the antique store. Um, look at how cute this is though. Maybe I'll just wear it for this video. Here we go. Okay. I don't think I would resell it. Here is a, an owl brooch, another owl, and it looks like it could also be a pendant. It does seem to be vintage, but there are no maker's marks and, um, this is a, there is wear um, right in the edges, a little bit on the wings. This is a I will think about brooch. Um, some stone beads. Yeah. What is this? Quartz marble. Craft lot. Look at this. This is so atomic looking. So mid-century looking to me, at least. This is Sarah Coventry, a clip-on earring. Look at that. Wow, we have a lot of Sarah Coventry in this box. And a lot of really cool Sarah Coventry, to be honest. So, put that to the side. Ooh, yes. Um, This is really pretty. What is this? Avon? Does that say Avon? Oh yeah, it says, um, I don't know if you guys can see, we'll see if it, it says Avon and then NR right here. So these are, this is really pretty. I like this one. Look at that. Put that one right here. Um, <laughs> what am I looking at? These I could not get apart, but all it is is this. Can I? 
here there we go flower and faux opal put that off to the side and this is just a simple hammered um copper maybe earring teardrop earring what is this okay i feel like is this a shoe clip yes this is a shoe clip i believe i believe or it could be a dress clip it has these teeth in there i i it might be a dress clip um that hold onto the fabric and you don't want to put that onto your ear so it's definitely not a clip-on earring i do not see a maker's mark but this i will put in my maybe pile um a leaf earring and well here's another carved mother of pearl shell type things sometimes do you see how this hook is a little bit hammered right there well let's see if you guys can see yeah the hook is a little bit hammered sometimes when i see that oh yep there we go 925 it says right on that little hammered part 925 so that one is a sterling silver hook on there um i will just put this off to the side but yeah that's something to look out for is that little hammered part on the hook this is cute i will put this one off to the side as well and this seems to be a really neat back this goes under your earlobe <clears throat> a back to an earring oh this looks like a little squash blossom bottom this might be sterling silver and yeah this is neat i like this i i, I have no idea what this is right here what stone this is it's a really light blue, almost green, but look, it's a squash blossom. Wow. Okay, cool. That one's cool. Okay. Um, should we move these off to the side? Mom. Oh, oh, a match. How did we get a match of these two little, little, tiny, little, tiny bobble rhinestone earrings oh, is there anything special about these let's see let's take a look okay it does say something let's see what does it say um it says studix classic usa s-t-u-d-e-x well, I have not heard of that. I will put these into my little maybe bin right there. So, wow, we found a match. Hooray! Um, ooh, is this... Um, wow, I'm blanking right now. Jet? Is this French jet? It might be. It might be French jet earring possibly um yeah we'll put this one to the side but look at how pretty my mom collects french jet buttons and things like that okay, we will what is this a smushed thing move that to the side okay um here is another clip-on. Did we have a match? No. Here is a, another, well, this is a clip, but it's actually a pierced earring to hold it on. And we will put this to the side. That's just plastic, I believe. Ooh, here's a ring. And it says something. And it says, oh, Leah Sophia. Yeah. I can sell this one. It's unique. Um, little ribbon. Almost like an eternity. Well, a couple eternity 
or infin I'm sorry, <laughs> infinity symbols or something. I, I could wear it as a mini right there. But yeah, this is a small one, Leah Sophia. Um, oh, here's that other little, wow, we found a match and it's the one that I threw back and that's missing. Let's see if I can find it. Yep. Okay, so this is making me rethink the situation because these are actually heavy and really pretty. Well, let's see. It's supposed to be this way. So it goes like this. And they're pretty. And I will rethink this because maybe someone would really want these even... I mean, it's not that noticeable that um, a rhinestone or two is missing. So I'll think about this. That, that's interesting. I will definitely look into that one. Oh, here is... Oh, look at this one. I get so excited about these kinds of things. Um, no maker mark but look at those look at those ab sorry look at these ab beads oh i'm sorry ab um rhinestones let's put that right there that one's beautiful and oh look we found it oh this was a good find okay here we go yeah, this could possibly be native handmade. I'll have to look a little bit more into this. I don't know if it's sterling or not, but we found a pair of squash blossom earrings. That is exciting, and they're really cute, and they have a really cute little um, color pop right there. I love it. Okay, that was exciting. Yay, Goodwill Blue Box. And another ring. This one. It looks like a tarnished spoon almost. Do you see this? Um, it, it's reminding me of like... Um, what is it reminding me of? Renaissance. For some reason. Just like the tufting and things in their bodices. This is not showing me any marks, but it appears to be good quality. It does have these little marcasites in it. It possibly is sterling. Yeah, this one is a good one. I like this one. Um, this one is really, really neat. Cool. Okay. And a, what does it say? Japan. The paint is missing from this bead. Here is, this is missing rhinestones. Um, an earring. And on the back is a butterfly. On the front is a little green faceted stone. Cute. Um, what is this? Oh, is this one of those ear cuff climber things? You put this on and it climbs down your ear. Yeah, we will. Sometimes, most of the time I feel like these are sold as a single, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll just put it over here. Ooh, fancy. This says nothing, and it's not vintage. I mean, it looks like it has a vintage back to it, but I'm not, I don't think it's vintage. We'll just put it right here. And these look like little snail slugs to me. Um, no maker's mark. Vintage, though. Ooh, look at this. It's a men's tie clip. It's not... Anson or Hickok or Swank, as far as I can see. There's no mark on it, but I can look this up. Oh, it does have that feel. 
like the, you know that um, cloisonne feel where the brass is coming through and it has an, a lit, an old old car this is neat look at that I do like selling um, vintage men's accessories and jewelry cool this one is neat I will have to look this one up um this is a oh look at that if you can see it does say 925 on it and it looks to be a pendant but it is tarnished um so that would not look good with the uh 925 italy necklace that we have so yeah this one's a little bit more tarnished and it looks good tarnished like it looks more um, distressed and brutalist style and so I would not clean this up because it's really pretty like that it it looks I mean it's hollow so it's not like a really heavy sterling but th that's something I can look up cool here is a very small bangle and it looks like something was glued on there um ooh, are these earrings or no these are just two findings and a bangle eh, i don't think it's yeah i think you can see a little bit at the edges that it is wearing a little bit, so that's not sterling. A big plastic lucite feeling earring. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a pineapple. It's not. This looks like one of those Tree of Life style um, necklace things, but it's not. It's a little teardrop. Um... Ooh. Is this another toe ring in there? Yay. Toe ring. Put that over there. And this seems to be worn, but it is more of like a artisan brutalist style. So it's not too bad. Um, this one is a... Clamper hook. Put that to the side. Here we go. Don't even know. Oh, it does have something on the back. Banana Republic? BR? Banana Republic? Put it right there. And a ring. Dun dun dun, dun another ring. Ooh, fancy. Um, and tarnished, so good sign so far. And it says 925, 925 FAS. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, pretty clean that one up and that one will be going up nice I feel like I'm getting lucky with the rings ooh this one's really pretty except for it's missing a stone piece right there so craft um this is, I don't even know. We'll just put it over here. Oh, okay. So the, I did find another match. This um, is like giving me, <clears throat> what's that brand that, um, like Tommy Hilfiger, I guess? It, nautical beachy type um, vibes. So, yeah, because I found a match, we'll just look those up. Yay, found another match. Um, let's see what else we can find in here. 
what is this? An owl. And he's broken. And, oh, a little swallow. Look at him. He is cute. He has, like, um, a teal enamel. And, yeah, cute, cute little earring. And look at this earring. Just kidding. It's not an earring. It's a pin. Um, earring. That one's cute. Little. Almost like Native American style. Like it's like a dream catcher, kind of. Cute. What is this? A little heart pin with a little gem. Is it gold? Is it? Is it gold and a rhine or and a ruby? Um, it doesn't say anything. But sometimes you can be surprised with pins. I will look further into that. I'll I'll have to look a little harder with uh, maybe a magnifying glass or something. Um, this is broken. And what is this? What am I looking at here? Is this like pull? It looks like it's glass, but like, like, like it was like stretched. And what does this say? It does say 925 on it. That one's cool. And this one also says 925. Look at this one. This one's pretty. A little, the tiniest little dangly thing in there. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, marker sites in there. That one's cute. Okay, toe ring can go over there. What is this? Ooh, this one's pretty. It's one of those um, slides that adjust and they just feel so smooth and nice. I have some Kendra Scott jewelry that does this and it just feels really nice. It might not even be quality or anything, but it. I like how that works. So this I'm not seeing any maker's mark. I'll just look into that one a little bit more. Um, yeah. Um, 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 I might just push these to the side and take a little bit better look later. What is this? This one says Japan. Is it vintage? Oh, I don't know. We'll look. We'll look into that later. Scissors. Wait, is this a scissors earring? Oh my goodness. Scissors earring and it is very, um, what, distressed? Oh, look at this earring. Wow, interesting. That is a statement for sure. <laughs> Okay. Oh, a ring. And it is a heart. And... <sighs> I'm not seeing anything else. Is it a mood ring? No, it doesn't go against my skin. So, interesting. We'll have to look some of those things up later. Oh, a little little starfish with a little stone in it. Something like this, I always hope. Is it gold? Did someone put gold in here? The little tiny pieces in here? Um, this is broken. Sometimes these pieces are sterling, which I think it is. Yep. Sterling. Little tiny hoop with etchings on it. Nice. Okay. So I will have to look into these later. These are all little bits. Little bits and pieces. Put that one to the side. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, a brooch. And it seems to be modern. And I don't think I will be selling this one just because it's modern and no name and plasticky. Alright. 
some more pieces out here. Okay. Here is a big, oh, another one of these. This looks like one of those um, Hawaiian nuts that they make necklaces and stuff from could be I'm not sure though yeah well we'll we'll put it somewhere we'll put it right there and this is really pretty it definitely it says Japan definitely is um very old vintage screw back and it's painted like it's cl cloisonne but I don't think that it is but it's painted like that pretty I I want to find the pair to, the match to that one and then an earring that needs to be cleaned up okay I'm just gonna get rid of this one because I that does not bring me joy there we go and ooh here is a brooch and it is coral little pin little leaf put that in there vintage and two two little crystal-y things that can go with this and we'll see if rainbows go can um, shine through that and here is an enameled clip-on earring I've sold a lot with all enamel <laughs> like this with the swirly swirl enamel and it was like uh, maybe 20 or 30 pairs of earrings like this someone bought it so some people like that Ooh, this one looks brightened doesn't it look at that with the um two-tone metals faux pearl and it says pb maybe it is like a little like grody in there PD um yeah I do not know what that is but that one is fun we will put that one right there if I can find a match that one will probably sell this is the little dangle that goes with this here we go we found it from yet from the last video and I will just throw this into my maybe now that I found it and then possibly look it up. Here is a heart and vintage. What is it? It's a swan. You know what a swan means. This is a Swarovski. This is a vintage Swarovski earring so yeah let's find the other one shall we that would be awesome so I don't know if you guys could see the little swan there but yeah cool Swarovski that if I can find the mate to that that will do well but look at all these earrings that I have that do not have the mate um basic earring gold Ooh, look at this one and I will be selling this one. I don't even care if it doesn't have a mark. Like, look at how beautiful this is. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. It looks like a queen would wear this. Little marcasites. I think this is plastic. But it feels nice. And it's in really great shape. So. Ooh, I think this is also a size 8 because it fits. Well, let's see. Just feeling, yeah, it's a size 8. Well, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe it's 8 or 8.5. Eight um, did we have this one yesterday? Cute. Sarah Coventry. Do we have it? A little bit dirty. Well, I don't see it. So... Yay, another Sarah Coventry that doesn't have a match. What is this? 
it is part of a necklace or something. Mm, I wish it opened like a clam. Um, but it doesn't. And I think it's craft. Here's some more number balls for pool. For the pool lover in your life. And a simple swirl vintage earring. Um, a light bulb. <laughs> no, this is a little knob. Okay. Oh, match. We have a match. We have a match. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay, we have a match. There's no maker's mark on it, but we have a match, so we're going to put it in here. <sighs> um, little mother of pearl button. My mom would like that. Give that to her. Another little hair doodad. Ooh, fancy. Has a really light yellow um, gem in there. Put that right over here. Um, oh, little starfish clip on. And this does say something. This says Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Right there, if you guys can see. And it just is plastic. Is it meant to look like tiger's eye? It's not. Put that right there. And... Oh, we found another match. Why am I finding all the matches to, like, the ones that I'm not super... Well, I did find that squash blossom, but look at these. Uh, I'm not going to sell those, sorry. But that is a match. This, wow, this is like a cross with leather and copper. Is it wood or leather? No, wood. And copper, and it's very um, artisan, brutalist feeling. I will put that over there and think about that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> a flag. And what is this? Napier. Put that right here. So as I was recording um, my earlier video, my part one, um, some jewelry did sell and it did sell, not this jewelry, but some, something that I found that I got in a jewelry jar and it sold for $61 and it was some Sarah Coventry earrings and ring set. I'll probably put, put it in, um, here so you guys can see $61 though. Great, great profit for getting something in a jewelry jar. And I do like Sarah Coventry. I think the style name, the brand, is Cleopatra. And yeah, it took a little bit to sell, but I don't mind. Um, okay, move this over. another ring. Feels lightweight, but we'll see. What? It's a little um, rose gold bow. And what am I seeing? It does say S925. Is it really? <laughs> um, my fingers are getting so dirty. That is cute like that, right? I don't know. That's a think about. Little bow, cute. 
this is a little wooden lotus what is this is this really super bent is this supposed oh oh i bent it more okay um i think i'll just throw that away because why would someone craft with it Ooh, this is glass i have not sold glass rings this is fully glass look at that huh cool i like this not for myself but just because and it has really pretty bronze sparkle detail in there cool i like it i'm getting the rings in this one and brooches this one is sarah coventry let's see dun dun dun, dun. oh <gasps> and it has all the pieces wow little flower little leaf sarah coventry vintage yes Wait a second, I'm confused. Why do I have another one of these in here? Is there supposed to be more dangles on here? I am so confused. What is happening? What? Now I'm confused. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Why would it, why? Oh, a little dog. Is it Bakelite? Japan little dog that's cute we will put that to the side um another brooch and it is monet and it is like a little wreath and you can put your fabric behind it and it would look really pretty put that up there um what does this say mona v don't know what that is um, I don't know if it's an MLM pin or something like that. Mona V. Hmm. I don't know about that. Well, I will look that up. Ooh, I really like this. If you know me, I love cloisonne and look at this one. This is a cloisonne hoop. Half hoop. Pretty. That is pretty. I like that one. Put that right by the mask. That is sad that he has not found his mate yet. Um, that is craft. And this, I think that these right here are um, porcupine quills. Craft. What is this? Um. Oh, another earring most likely vintage and what is this a crab pendant put that right there another wood this is a wood pendant um what is this another ring it looks like a buckle so I know that there are buckle jewelry that does well, but this is an Avon, and it looks like it is one of those ones that can fit a lot of different sizes, but it does seem small. So yeah, Avon buckle ring. Cute. There you go. And here's another ring. A sun um, and it is tarnished and worn, so we'll put that here. What is this? This is cool. Look at this earring. That's like coral. Oh, well, style, not real coral, but look at this style. Hmm, that is cool. I have a feeling, though, I'm not going to find the, ma the mate to it just because we are getting to a lot of the loose pieces in here um oh i found another one match these were the screw back earrings pretty emerald green color though all of the jewels are there so that's great what is this these are together it is something <laughs> and it says what does it 
say on it? Avon. Avon Little Heart. So, found a match. They are little pink hearts. There we go. Um, is that an angel's wing? Um, let's see. This is, what does that say? Accents by Hallmark. So a Hallmark earring. It is also a clip-on. And if you guys see anything amazing, let me know. Um, okay. Let's do that later. Alright, we are getting down to the bottom bits here. So let's... Okay. <clears throat> the rest is just mostly loose beads in there. Move that to the side. Alright. Do we see any of the final matches of the glorious earrings that I wanted to find matches to? No? Okay. Um, this is an Avon clip-on. Um, here is a couple rings. What is this? Nothing? Just a simple ring. This is a leaf with little gems in there. We'll look that one up. Um, ooh, is this the other swallow? It looks like it, right? But it's a different color. Is it supposed to be like that? I'm wondering if these are tie tacks because look at, look at how thick this is. I'm thinking that these are actually swallow tie tacks. And I know that what... Is the swallow the navy is affiliated with like a navy symbol or something? These I will think about. This one's actually in much poorer condition than this one. But these I will think about because I actually think that these are tie tacks. So yeah, just put some tie tack backings on those. Um, This is a religious charm with a saint on it. Um, we would have to see if there are any sterling pieces in here. Ooh, this is pretty. It's missing a stone, though. Um, ster I would look for sterling and other little matches and things like that. Hopefully gold, right? Gold would be great. This one is what is that? Avon little clip clip on. But other than that, little shoe charm. Is there any more rings in here? A dolphin. Um, I think that is it. So I think that is that is that besides all these little um, little pieces to go through. So yeah, we are finished with this video. Let's see. This one looks a little bit promising. Looks like sterling. I don't know. This one actually looks very old, doesn't it? Like silver. Very, very old looking. Um, I could be wrong. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And ooh, here's the starfish. Here's a match. 
um yeah give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye